Hello, hello everyone. I'm Master Austin Eleven, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. Last episode, we made our way here to the Angler's Tunnel. First, we're going to Koholan Island and just generally just exploring around and pretty much preparing for this temple. Now this one, to, to take it on and turtle your dad. I'm sorry, but you are a goner. <laughs> the man just flew and uh, okay. The man flew and Link drowned. That's fun. And also, Link drowned. Well, Ben drowned. And that, okay, you got me. That's pretty cool. You got. You gotta admit that was cool, but that was not cool. That was not very cool. I'm not gonna lie. Link drowning was not cool. The fact that I killed him like that was cool. And there's nothing there, okay. Now, I haven't taken on this temple in quite a while, so this is gonna be a bit new to me. It's gonna be a bit new to me, guys, just so y'all know. And wait. Wait, the music of this game, it sounds so much like the pixel uh, Zelda games, like the Oracle games. The music sounds so much like the OG version of this game. That's so cool, man. Bam. Ho ho. We're better. We're just better at the freaking video game, baby. And, uh, I don't have the item that I want yet. I don't have the item to kill these anti-fairy, anti-fairies, which are well the boomerang. Actually, I can get the boomerang now because I have bombs, but, <laughs> well, yeah, I cannot do anything still about these guys. Oh, God. Okay. Really? Really? Just blew him up. I just blew him up. His family's gonna be really upset with me. His family's gonna hate me now. What is his family gonna think of me? His family's gonna think of me as a murderer. But you know what? I don't care. They deserve to die. They need to die. But, okay, um... I can't really get this chest because I need bombs. Will these pots give me bombs? No, they just give me rupees. Wow, that's fun. I really want to get this chest, though. I really want to get it. Game, please. Can, can you give me bombs, please? Please? Damn. Okay. I guess no bombs for me, boys. I guess no bombs for me. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. The choo choo just followed after me and just died straight off the bat. That's funny. But, okay, what's- Oh, this chest. Let me guess. Another small key? Oh. A stone beak. Never mind. I am incorrect. So, let's go ahead and make our way over here. And continue along. Through, um, here. And just see where things go. See if there's another small key and continue on even further. Because why not? And, okay, there's an antifair here. Which I want to be careful of, because I don't want to get hurt by him. He would be very annoying to deal with. Oh, here's a compass. Sweet. Okay. We got the compass. We got the compass. And there's also a chest here. Wow, how ironic. Just got the compass, now I'm gonna give myself a chest. Awesome. Another small key. Sweet. Wait. Now we have two small keys. That works. Alright. Let's make our way through here and see... Well, let's do because because yeah, we saw some, the locked door here, and we also need a small key for this door as well. And I can't get any bombs, so I can't even figure out what that chest in that other room held, so... That's gonna have to wait on that. I'll take the Guardian Acorn. I'll take it. More defense? I will take it gladly. And these guys are dead because they're stupid. Um, wait. Can I make this? Can I make this? Let's find out. And nope, because Link automatically goes to being horizontal. Great, that, that's fun. Okay. Guess we can't do anything there, but we can do is jump here. Oh my god, that was scary. Okay, that's there. No, wait, I can't. Can't get that because I don't have a small key. So what am I supposed to do then? Because this chest I need a bomb for. This chest, I don't know if we can actually get to. Because, um... I need some kind of item, right? There's no way the game will just let me jump to it. I think I need some kind of item. Maybe. Maybe I need... Um, flippers to allow me to swim. So I can swim over to the chest? I have no idea. Huh. You know what, let me try something here, guys. Let me try something here. 
Ow. You hurt. Die, please. Thank you. That hurt a lot, just so you know. Thanks a lot. Okay, buddy. You're dead. You're dead to me. But really? You had to take damage from him as well? That's fun. Alright. Okay, wh what do I get this chance? Yes, I know, Compass. Oh, wait. There we go. Perfect. Wait, there's a heart. I would like the heart. Wait, now we have- okay, now we have 10 bombs, so we should be able to grab that chest from over here. Not here, never mind, I'm dumb. I am dumb, apparently. And also, yes, you might notice that face cam has moved, because I decided that I didn't like where it was before, and I want to show my rupee counter and the items on the screen so you guys know what items I'm using. So, yeah, because I mean, why not? Okay, this, this should hold another small key, hopefully. I mean, I'm hoping so. I'm imagining it will... There we go. Perfect. Now we can make our way back over to that locked door and see what it has for us. Or the not even locked door, but key block. I mean, that's what it is. So it is literally a key block. So yeah. Let's make our way on over. So let's see what... Actually, yeah, we can't head over there yet because these things are blocking us. This wall of something. I don't even know what to call it, honestly. But let's kill these guys. Take care of them. Nice. 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 Alright. Now. I'm presuming that we may need a small key after we unlock this key block. I'm assuming we might. I might be wrong, but you never know. Okay, let's... I was gonna say let's head over without falling into the abyss, but I guess we're gonna fall into the abyss first. And, okay, this got really... You hit me through the wall. That's very fun of you. Wow, I love you so much. Please, stop being a menace to society. Thank you. Stop it. And die, you choo-choo jelly. Thank you. Okay, um... Can I push these? No, I cannot. Wait, can I push these? <gasps> oh. <gasps> ha ha ha. Puzzle solving 101. Alright. So what's this? Wait, what is this? I guess nothing. Interesting. I mean, that literally held nothing for me, so... I don't know what the point of it was, to be honest. Oh, so there's a chest here. I'm assuming it's gonna be by killing these enemies. Yep, thought so. <gasps> wait, wait, what the heck? Uh, what? What the fr- the heck, man? Smokey fell into the water. Wait, but I can't, can't even get it, can I? Because it's in the water. And we don't have an item to allow us to swim. Yeah, we don't have an item to allow us to swim, so we can't even get that yet. God dang it, man. Wow! Wow! God damn it! Oh, I'm sorry, Link. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to do that to you, man. I'm sorry about that. It's just, I didn't mean to hurt your butt. But okay, so can't get that small key yet, and we can't head through here because we not, don't have an item to swim. So there's that. Okay. Killed, really? He was on the ground, flopping around, and I still couldn't kill him. That's fun. Go to the tell of your guide. Oh. Oh, I remember this puzzle. I think. I think. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. But I think. So, maybe. I think. Okay, so we can't access that yet, because our Pegasus Pitsu not wants to jump that far. Not really, you still hurt me, even there. Buddy, don't even cry me. Die, please. Thank you. Alright, so one of this chest. And of course, it's a fake. Of course, it is. Alright. What does this pot have? Nothing. Okay, that's fun. So, what's over here to the left? Okay, so that's, so that's the boss door. Good to know. So, that's the boss door. Oh, 
the glint of the tiles. We have to step on these. I'm swinging a card to order. You know, actually, let me go on a whim. Let me go on a whim. I said let me go on a whim. Really? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Okay. Boom. Damn. So I'm assuming we might need the flippers for this puzzle as well. So let's go and open up this, because we only need a chest. Okay, and there's small key. How will that come in handy, though? How will that prove to be useful in any way, shape, or form to me? I'm at a loss for words. Oh, wait, nope, nope. I know how. I know how. Oh, we can just kill him like that. Okay. I mean, I didn't know that, but I'll take it. Bye bye I love the- oh, okay, I don't love that. I was gonna say I love these enemies, how they just fly. But I- oh, can I stop drowning? Seriously. Seriously. For- Okay, I feel bad for that guy. He just drowned in the water. I feel bad for him. Okay, enemies, can you stop trying to murder me? Please. And thank you. Alright. So unlike this door, and a mini boss, that's fun. Okay. So mini boss we got. That's fun. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. I see how it is. Alright. So this I remember I remember this guy. You just want to jump behind him and then attack his butt. That's how you want to do it. Hey. There you go. You dead. And ba bam. Get hit again, buddy. Okay. Ba bam. Oh shoot. Crap. Wait, what? Oh, I don't I don't do I don't do it. Come on, come at me. Ba bam. Ba real how did I miss him that time? Wow. Okay, I might actually want to be careful here because this is kind of scary. Wait, is this- wait, does this health reset? Please tell me his health does not reset. Please tell me his HP does not reset. Please tell me he just takes a lot of hits. Oh my god. How many hits does this man take? There we go, oh my god. This man took like a billion hits to kill, Jesus. I'll take the fairy though, gladly. Now my health is at least back to full, and nope, you will not shut those on me. No, thank you. No. Stop shutting those on me. Here we go, alright. Easy peasy. Ow. I just got healed by a fairy. You go, there we go! Flippers! Nice! Now we can actually swim without drowning ourselves. Wait, we can swim now. Okay. Oh, I- we want to memorize the pattern, that's what it is. We want to memorize the pattern. I see, okay. Let me first take care of these enemies, because I don't like them. There we go. So, boom. Boom. Okay. Boom. Boom, and boom, okay. So it's top right to left, bottom right to bottom left to center. So boom, boom, so it's pretty much boom, 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 boom. Or, yeah, you guys know what I mean. I'm sure. But okay, now we just gotta do that tile puzzle again, but just memorize it this time. I know it right now, I know, I know it for now. We'll see if I actually memorize it. Okay, okay, let's do this, guys, let's do this. Let's see if I remember this or not. So, boom. And then, if I remembered correctly, boom. Ba bam. And, ba bam. Let's go! We're better at the freaking game, guys. We're better at the game. We're just better at the video game, I swear to God. I just am built differently. My brain is too big for this video game. We. And I don't trust you. Not at all. Ow. I hurt my head. Ow. That also hurt. Wow. Really, man? I hate... Really? Re... Okay, that's it. You're gonna pay for that, buddy. You're gonna pay for that. <gasps> I actually made it. Ooh. Oh, my God. My wrestling doesn't... 
hit his head on the ceiling and then have to retreat or something. Oh, wait. Wait, that was it? Oh, it was a shortcut. I see. Bam, and you're dead to me. Hey, can you not be on me, Choo Choo Jelly? Thank you. So now... Okay, yeah, now we can swim. So now we can backtrack and grab these chests that we missed before. Because now we can swim, so we're set. Let's go ahead and swim our way over here, actually. Check out this place. Okay, we need a small key for that, though. So let's go ahead and make our way over here and grab this chest. Maybe it'll be a small key. Maybe this will be the small key we need. It was the rupees. Because of course it was. Because of course. Okay, um, so there's this chest over here. I kind of want to grab that, but at the same time, there's also this chest. Oh, that's the one I missed. Oh, I'm a moron. Oh, I'm just a moron. Okay. <laughs> there was a chest I completely skipped because I didn't pay any mind to, um, yeah, this platform. I didn't notice you'd go down, so. That's my bad. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and grab that chest real quick. Oh, look at that, a heart. That's why you check your pots, guys. That's why you check your pots. You never know if it may hold a heart or a ruby or what. You never know. All I know is I'm not looking forward to doing this puzzle again. If I would have done this correctly the first time, then I wouldn't have to backtrack for it. Fall down, please. Thank you. I'm just going to have you fall down again. Okay, I'm just stupid. Please fall down again. Thank you. And jump onto him. Bam. There we go. Perfect. Now let's actually grab this chest without missing it. Oh. Wait, so you're telling me you don't even need to freaking wait, what? No, because I think we do need a small key, because there's stairs there's stairs here, so I think we do need to grab this last chest. I think that holds a small key for us. See, let's backtrack for it. Let's backtrack for it, and then we should be setting good, and if I could not, for the love of God, get hit by these enemies. Please, just, please don't. Stop throwing spears at me, please. <laughs> you wouldn't stop throwing spears at me, guys, okay? Leave me alone. You're dead. Okay, if you could not be a nuisance. Wait, I forgot I can swim. I forgot. I feel bad every time. These guys just drown in the water. I feel so bad. Then again, I don't. Wait, no, we don't need to get- grab that. that chest is probably just something useless. Okay, buddy, just die, please. Thank you. All of you enemies just die for me. Alright, now let's grab this chest, which is going- or not chest, but let's grab the small key, which is underwater! Yay! There we go. Now we have the small key. And I will say, compared to other Zelda games, Link's Awakening definitely has some of the best swimming controls in the entire Zelda franchise, just because it's just better, alright? Link's Awakening's swimming controls are actually just better because the Oracle Zelda games, Oracle of Seasons, has good swimming controls, but Oracle of Ages, my god, those, those swimming controls are horrendous. Like, I'm not gonna lie. The swimming controls for Oracle of Ages are horrendous. They are the worst controls I've ever had for swimming in a Zelda game. The best ones, honestly, I don't know. All I know is that this game's swimming controls are simple and they're nice to use. It's not like Oracle of Ages where you have to t constantly tap the D-pad or uh, just literally click in the control stick just to swim. It, it was pretty annoying, to say the least. Okay, guys, please stop trying to annoy me, and you literally are doing that. Okay, Well, bye Come on, give me a heart, please. Never mind. Okay, so, oh, no, I'm... I am, if you couldn't already tell guys, I'm still being dumb. I'm still being an idiot. What we want to do is make our way over through here because this will lead us to this staircase, which I'm assuming is going to lead us to where the boss door is, to use Nightmare key. But yeah, yeah, they're cheap cheeps. I mean, I did mention before how there are Mario enemies and characters in this game, but yeah, there are cheap cheeps and Mario in this game. Literally, Mario, it's cheap cheeps have come into Link's Awakening, so interesting to say the least, but now here we are, ready to take on the boss of Angler's Tunnel, so pretty nice if you ask me. Let's go and kill off these enemies, and prepare for this boss fight, because, I mean, we could use the preparation we can get, but let's go pop a save real quick.
Thankfully though, luckily for me, we have had no deaths in this playthrough so far. Literally zero deaths, but let's go and open the, bo the boss door. Here we are. The door is locked, I'm assuming that's going to be to where the next instrument of the siren is. Let's go and drop down here. And here is... The boss. Of... Angler's Tunnel! It's a fish. Bloop bloop glub glub gh food. Wait, what? Oh, he's speaking a bunch of gibberish. But this is the angler fish! The angler fish! The boss of this temple! Yeah, this is fun. I love this so much. Alright. Ba bam. There we go. Ba bam. Ba bam. Oh my god, you can do so much damage. Oh my god, this boss is honestly cheesy. Now, if I took in the like, Clutter Dungeon by this point, if I took in the Clutter Dungeon and actually got the upgrade to the sword you can get, this boss would be easy peasy. Wait, what? Oh, you have to attack his horn. That's what it is. Okay. Ow. Okay, I'm actually taking a lot of damage. I'm, not, I'm taking a lot of damage. Alright. Alright. Okay. There we go! Very simple boss. All I want to do is just match the button. And just cause I hit him and there you go. Honestly, really cool environment. I really like the environment for this boss fight. It's really nice just being underwater. I'm just disappointed this boss fight isn't longer because it's so easy. Like, this boss fight, it's simple, easy, and you just don't need to really worry about it. I'm just sad that Nintendo didn't put more effort into this boss fight because it could have been really cool. could have been a really fun boss fight. I mean, it still is fun, but it's just... It's too easy in my opinion. It honestly is too easy. But either way, now it's time to get ourselves the next instrument of the sirens. Which is going to be the Surf Harp. Let's take a listen to it. Ooh, now that was a nice tune. I'm not gonna lie. That gave me some goosebumps. Other than that, that was a nice tune. That was a nice tune. From a harp, not too bad. But bang. Hey, what? Mm. Your robe goes into the bay. Okay. Um, bay, I, uh, bay, I get the next extension. <laughs> that was a horrible joke. I'm not gonna lie, that was a god awful joke. But you know what? I'm sticking with it. Either way, let's actually go ahead and check out this area here, because this will actually allow us to learn a new song. So let's go ahead and speak to him. I am Mambo, child of the sunfish. Have you got an ocarina? I sure do. Ah, they can teach you this. Alright, what are you going to teach us? Are you can teach us the next song. Let's go take a listen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Wow. Oh, nice. That was a nice little tune. But there we go. After that little musical, we learned Manbo's Mambo. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, but... When you play my Mambo, you can warp to a warp point around the island. That's one of the dungeons, too. And since today's a special day, I'll let you warp to Mambo's Pond, too. So, Mambo's Pond. So now, we guess today's a special day. We can warp to Mambo's Pond. I don't know where that is, to be honest, but I guess we'll find out right now. So, let's go and try this warp song and see where it leads us. So, it's basically a shortened version of it, but it's still pretty nice. And look at that Telltale Heights and all these. And yeah, actually, this is Mambo's Pond. So, now we can warp here at any point in time. And actually, there is actually... Um, something I want to do over by Martha's Bay, there's an item, but I want to get. This item is going to be very, very helpful. Now, remember that item I was talking about, that projectile item that I want to use on enemies? Well, that was the boomerang, and oh wait, there's actually a ghost here. Oh boy, uh-oh. Um, yeah, there's actually a ghost here. Here, enter my house. Hey, this ghost is actually going to follow us around. This is actually part of a little side quest with the ghost. Where we want to bring the ghost over to pretty much his grave. But first, you know, he wants to check out his house. And honestly, this is very sad. This is just, this is really sad. Super sad.
Na 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 Nostalgia. Unchanged. Da da da. I mean, I love the music, just... The way Nintendo remixed these songs to be more drab like this, and in other ways throughout Link's Awakening, it really just brings it to life. It's amazing. I just, I love the remixes. They sound gorgeous. It's amazing. Boo-hoo. Man, that's sad. Man, why are you making me sad? <laughs> I'm gonna cry, guys. This episode's gonna be the one where I cry. And I'm sorry, but right now I'm editing a video on my phone just to export it. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm totally not doing anything out of the ordinary. Totally not. Definitely. But enough! Cemetery, take me, my grave! Alright, so it seems like now the ghost is done with his house, and now he wants to visit the grave. His grave, rather. Not just any grave, but his grave. Now how we get there... Um, I think we actually have to venture there by foot. I think so, I'm not entirely sure to be honest, but, um... Let me actually check. Where is this grave located? I know it's by... Actually, yeah, it's, right, it's actually right over here. So, I want to say we can warp there just fine. I want to say we can warp there and we'd be just fine. I want to say so at least. You know what? Yeah, it's actually right over here. It's actually right over here. So let's, go, let's go over to Mambo's Pond and get this going because we got crap we got to do, guys. We got crap we got to do. No, I do apologize for this in advance, everyone. But, um, yeah, I'm literally just adding a video on my phone. So I'm exporting it right now. But, let's go ahead and make our way down here. And actually, the ghost did follow us. So I'm surprised, honestly. I thought the ghost was going to leave us, but it did not. So I'm pretty happy about that. And actually, I do believe we will need our shovel for this as well. So we will need our shovel for this. I think, at least, I think. But here's the ghost's grave. It's right here. But, hey, buddy. Oh, he's happy. Thank you. A jar for you. Put something inside. Bye-bye. Oh, -bye. he's happy. Man, that's gonna bring a tear to my eye. <laughs> that's gonna bring a tear to my eye, guys. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> okay, not really, but... We got ourselves a fairy bottle, which is actually our second bottle in the game. And now the owl is coming to talk to us. Owl, I don't care what you have to say, just leave me alone. Ooh, it has been some time since our paths crossed, lad. You must dive into the waters of Martha's Bay to enter the caffeine's maw. The closer you get to the windfish, the more restless he sleeps. Hurry onward, hoot. Yeah, now we need to make our way on to Martha's Bay, which is where the next temple is, which is, as he said, the catfish's maw. Luckily, we got ourselves the flippers from the last temple, so we should be set. Now, there's actually a little... Um, I guess you could say a side quest I would like to do, which is actually getting ourselves an item. Now, this item is going to prove to be very nice and helpful. I want to move over to Marcus Bay yet again, but, um, this time, I want to go ahead and make my way over to the beach. And from there, I want to go ahead and open up a little cave with the bombs we have, because we have nine bombs now, we have enough bombs, so we can go ahead and explore this little area, and get ourselves this item that I was talking about before. Now right here, it's cracked wall. We've seen it before, we've come across it so many times. And yeah, now it's time to actually explore an ow. I didn't mean to hurt my... Wait, did that take two hearts of damage? Wait, did that take actually two hearts from me? Oh god. Oh wait, no, because we have to... We have to continue the trading sequence for this. And continue the trading sequence. We need to go on to Animal Village. And we'll get ourselves an item that will allow us to, well, get ourselves another item from here. Wow. Uh, this is really fun. This is so much fun. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna treat you guys today. This episode is gonna be a bit longer because, I mean, we have the warp song now, so it's gonna make things so, so much easier on us. By far, so much easier on us. Because before, we'd have to trek all throughout the island and by foot go to each area. But now, because we have this warp song, I'm pretty sure we can easily make our way to each area and continue this train sequence. And yeah, Marin's singing, so nice. Very nice. And I actually do believe, if we make our way into here, we should find, yes, the ghost. It's going to give her the hibiscus. And, oh, wait, no, I didn't, I didn't mean to press, no, I meant to 
Press yes. We need to l l give a letter to Mr. Wright. A go letter. And if you couldn't tell, there's a heart on it, which indicates it is a love letter. Yeah. A bit weird if you ask me, but... I guess we're rolling with it. I guess we're just rolling with this. Let's go ahead and make our way over to Mambo's Pond. Because this is the quickest way to make our way over to, um, Dr. Wright's home to give him this love letter. It's weird, um, this goat is writing a love letter to this man. Very weird, but I mean, whatever suits you, I guess. <laughs> I guess whatever suits you. Let's go ahead and kill off these guys and really do have to hurt me like this when I just refilled my health. I swear to god, enemies are to get me. I mean, just have to get me. And you can die too. But let's actually go ahead and make our way into Mr. Wright's house, which is right inside here. And right here, we just want to give him the love letter and let him know. Yeah, here's the love letter. What's this? A letter for me? I'm so happy! Well, you best be. And look, the letter came with a photograph! Oh. Uh, the goat's catfishing him. The goat is literally catfishing him with Princess Peach. You're so beautiful, I must give you something for your trouble. And yeah, now we're gonna get ourselves a broom. Okay. So, room is where we're getting ourselves. Now, this broom we actually want to bring to a certain lady in Mabe Village. So, we want to bring, bring a broom to her. So, let's go and do just that. So let's go and warp over to the Okuku Prairie. And then from there, make our way just straight into Mabe Village. And do this. Because, yeah. This episode's gonna be a little bit on the longer side, only because, again, I'm just doing a bit more stuff in this episode, a bit more stuff. Let's go ahead, make a way in over, and give this broom to this lady, who is just in the southwest portion of May Village. We haven't really ever explored this area or her home, only because we haven't had a need to until now. Let's go and speak to her. Yahoo, a new broom for me, isn't it? Yeah, it is for you. Yeah, she said Yahoo, I prefer Google. And here is a fishing hook. This fishing hook will be over in... This fishing hook will be bringing over to, well, this area. And as you can tell, what I what I love so much about this game is, pretty much, the next area you have to head to, um, if you don't, if you don't really know where it is, just look at your map, the area that is more lit up compared to other parts. As you can tell, this part is way more lit up compared to other parts of the map. The other part is more lit up, that usually indicates where you gotta go next. And this is where our next destination is. So I guess now let's go and warp over to where that is, or I guess the general area, which is going to be, um, I guess Martha's Bay, because that's where the owl told us. So Martha's Bay is where we shall be in order to investigate where the next temple is and investigate this new area, because we have not, we now have the flipper, so I can investigate this area and swim around it. Either way, before the Chuchu decides to hurt me and cause me pain, We'll see you guys next time. Be sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you are new to Walmart, Zelda content, Nintendo gaming content in general on this channel. Be sure to click the subscribe button if you are new and click on that bell, turn on your post notifications by clicking on all so that you are notified whenever I post a video. So leave us out on any of the content I have for you guys. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time as we move on and investigate where the Cafeteria Mall is and see this trading sequence and hopefully finish it as you know, we figure out what's up ahead and figure out how we progress on. I get to do all this. I'll see you all then, though. Peace out.